ahead and bring in David Cantor, a criminal defense expert as well, um, who's helped us put things in perspective here. David, the jury was able to ask, as we've laid out um, for folks who are just joining us, hundreds of questions of those witnesses who came to testify. We had dueling psychologists going back and forth on what they thought, PTSD, uh, borderline personality disorder. By letting the jury ask questions directly before those witnesses were dismissed, did that really uh, cut the length of deliberations when they finally sat down to determine her fate? Yes, absolutely. I think by allowing the jurors to ask questions, they're cutting to the chase of what they're really looking for. So I believe the jury questions tell you exactly where they're leaning uh, when a verdict comes in. David, let me ask you, some people were very surprised that the jury in this case was not sequestered, especially with the length of the trial and the intense media coverage. It would be almost impossible to believe that the jury members didn't accidentally at some point see some media coverage of this trial. How do you think that may have impacted not only how they trying to stay away from that type of material, but then also knowing how big of a circus it is outside the courthouse, that how that may have impacted them as well. Well, I think, uh, I think absolutely the jury should do their duty and not watch the media, but it is almost impossible as you're flicking through the channels. And I do think it does have an effect, and if I was the judge, I would have sequestered this jury, especially once um, national media gets involved. Okay, and I want to get back to what you said just a moment ago about those questions that the members of the jury asked of the witnesses being kind of a telltale sign of which way they might be leaning. How did you read their questions as a prediction of today's verdict? Well, the questions were definitely favorable to the prosecution. I don't believe they're favorable to the defense. And the sheer number of questions that were pro-prosecution, uh, in my mind, indicates that they're probably leaning uh, toward the first degree verdict, if I had to guess. I also thought if they would have drifted in the next week, it would have been more likely that a second degree verdict was coming. But this is incredibly fast for a 16 week jury trial. And the rule of thumb is the quicker the jury verdict, the more likely it is going to be guilty. Now there's exceptions with OJ and-, and uh, Casey Anthony. Uh, uh, J.K. Anthony was another one, yeah. So I think um, I would not be shocked if they came back with first degree and then it goes into the penalty stage from there. Juan Martinez, the prosecutor in this case, had a very different style than the defense attorney. It was very aggressive. aggressive yeah. Yes, especially early on in, in the trial. It, sometimes the, the questioning was even somewhat bizarre as we got into Snow White questions with uh, the uh, domestic violence expert. But, but how do you think that his style and his aggressive style played not only uh, to everyone who's watching this case at home, but to the jurors specifically? Well, I think his aggressive style plays well to the people watching at home because that's the Nancy Grace style of, of questioning where he's just attacked. The reality is when you're on a sequestered jury and you're there for hours on end, it can backfire on you if you go too far because then they think you're just piling on and bullying, and it can backfire on you. Now, in this particular case, he was provided with a tre treasure trove of cross-examination because she had lied on videotape and she had given interviews where she challenged any jury to find her guilty. So in this case, he was probably okay about 95% of the time. I don't think it backfired because I think he'll get the verdict he was looking for. However, in other cases, um, when I was a prosecutor, you got to learn to back it off a little bit, and you got to learn to let the question just hang in the air mm -hmm. and not necessarily uh, do every question as a nail that needs to be hammered. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, David, thank you so much for joining us. In fact, I'm sure we'll be tapping your knowledge uh, a little bit later on.